Hey DX family, how's it going? Today is Tuesday, September 29th. I'm Victoria Hernandez and this is your DX Daily. Young Thug is known for, among other things, his beef with Lil Wayne. During a recent interview with GQ, Young Thug was asked about his idol, who has dissed him publicly. I feel like if he had the chance to be himself or me, he'd be me. If I had the chance to be myself or him, I'd be him. That man is the greatest. If we had the biggest problem in the world, I'd still say he's the best rapper in the world. Everybody knows nobody raps better than the boss. Do you think Lil Wayne is the greatest? Let us know in the comments section. Lil Wayne is not the only rapper who has beefed with Young Thug. Thugger has also had his feud with The Game, who has his own set of concerns. The Compton, California rapper is now being threatened with arrest after comments he made on The Breakfast Club about radio personality star. Here's the clip. <laughs> Envy, you know, back in the day, like, I remember, like, what, what, who was the dudes on the radio yep. out here? Mm -hmm. I told him, uh, uh, I was like, dude, I'll break your jaw, dude. Like, Envy is my dude. I still gonna break his jaw when I see him. I don't, I don't like, I never mm. seen him since then, but I got you. <laughs> star responded on his video blog and explained the situation. I passed on letting game come on my show and that's what game's tight about the fact that the hater star rejected him star then alerted law enforcement of the game's comments the police have threatened to arrest the game next time he comes to new york many rappers including the game have addressed their experiences with police in their music oceanside california rapper john gibbs adds his voice to the conversation with his album soul rebel here we have John Gibbs. Thanks so much for coming down. Thanks for having me. Excited to sure. have you. Um, so you have your album here, Soul Rebel. Um, tell us about just the concept for the album and what inspired you with that. Uh, yeah, pretty much. I mean, it's based about a, myself, a kid like myself, growing up in Oceanside, California, um, being surrounded by, you know, gangs, um, prostitution, and all this, all this different stuff that kind of uh, sways him back and forth, but having a foundation of being brought up in the home like with faith and just good um, morals and, and good things to live by. So coming to a point where, you know, his soul's drifting every which way, I just kind of want some drift type stuff. And then he comes to this point where he realizes he can be a, a soul rebel and a rebel with the cause rather than a rebel with no cause, you know, so. Um, the song Johnny Law, I know there's a lot of different songs about police and from NWA, Kendrick yeah. Lamar, but yours definitely has different levels and layers yeah. to it. What did, what did you want to bring with that song? Yeah, for that song, it was definitely trying to expound on uh, racial profiling at like the bare surface, but then you go into it and you realize some of it we, we, we do kind of put on ourselves just riding around doing what we want to do and thinking there's no authority to it. And then the third layer is me, like learning from my mistakes, but still having the shakes, like when I see the police, cause you know, just the racial profiling, which is the first layer. So yeah, there's, there's multiple layers to it, but it's not a song to like hate the police, it's just a song to kind of reconcile, you know, if anything, yourself to a, a higher standard of uh, behaving we're dealing with them. Yeah. This is Victoria Hernandez with John Gibbs, and that's your DX Daily for today. For all the hip hop happenings, visit hiphopdx.com.